Hello everyone, my name is Seema and welcome to this video. What are we discussing today? The topic for today's discussion is why do women need to be respected? Well, in fact, all individuals need to be respected, but women especially because they are the ones who are a spiritual connection between God and this physical realm. They are the ones who bring the next generation into this world. They are the nurturers, they are the caregivers, and they are the ones who make this world beautiful. Have you never, have you noticed that when women display their characteristics of love, creativity, and nurturing, the world around them turns beautiful. So a man could be making a lot of money, being very su successful in life, but if he doesn't have a companion, a beautiful woman to support him, this, person li this person's life may be empty. A need for the family, a need to belong somewhere, uh, to build a home, those are the things that only a woman can do. Don't get me wrong, men are good in a lot of other things. But women have these special characteristics that God made just for, for women. Because instead of reaching the child, they had the mother reach the child. And uh, give all the care and nurturing that the child needed. So as a mother, she plays a very important role in a child's life and also in her husband's life because she's the one who gives him a family, a purpose to live for. Otherwise, the earning just comes and goes and gets wasted in things. Then the other form the woman needs to be respected is that of a, of a wife. She's the one who will support you through all your ups and downs and be there for you, look out for you and inspire you in different ways. The third form will be a daughter or a daughter-in-law. That sweet love that a daughter gives, no one else can compare that. The way she makes funny jokes or shows that she's there for you is only special between daughters and daughter-in-laws. If we put distinction between the two, then it's our own bad mindset. If you bring somebody in the family, you accept them. You love them for who they are and grow your family rather than cut it down and break it up. Finding faults is very easy. Our daughters make mistakes. Our daughter-in-laws make mistakes. So what? You be the bigger person and accept them. So your life is blessed because that love that she can give you, no one else can. And women are very special because in a household that gives respect to women even god bows down to them if a woman is not respected in a household there will be a lot of lack in general in that family's life lack of abundance so they could have the money but yet not valued they could have a lot of social circle but people find mistakes with them so things like that where there is no abundance you know how when you go buy a million dollar house but the house comes with all kinds of problems as soon as you enter in the house you have to now have you have now bills piling up to fix your house and now you spend another 50 grand just to fix the house and more problems just keep following. You will just discover problem after problem in that house. That's not abundance. 
abundance is for lesser money you get a bigger home and you thrive there as a family that is abundance that only comes when you learn to respect women not just one in one form in one relationship but women in all forms you give them the respect you give them your love and you value the people for who they are again finding fault will be very easy with everybody but to give them the respect and love takes a little bit from from someone because they become a part of you is somebody becoming a part of you if it's this is my hand am i going to keep finding faults with my hand or am i going to love my hand you decide but if you always look at somebody as an outsider as somebody different oh this person is not good my daughter didn't do well enough you know she how come she didn't grow tall enough or how come she didn't do something that would have made me look pretty in the society then those those things are only separating the hand away from my body and when the hand is away from the body it's not a part of me i've not integrated that hand in my my whole self and so i remain broken i am handicapped now and now i have a problem because i'm handicapped i can't use my hand i cannot do half of my things properly and now i'm frustrated I'm mad at my hand. I'm finding all faults. Going about telling everybody this hand is good for nothing. Was it the hand's fault or was it your fault in the first place? If you were able to find the good in this hand, see that the fingers work, they could achieve a lot. Value that, and then you you start to love that hand, right? It becomes part of you. So learn to value individuals, especially women. and even the god will be bestowing you with lots of his blessings thanks for watching